Hi everyone, Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. I'm at InnoVista Law here in Washington, D.C. I'm sitting with Joe Bowser, a TCPA attorney, and he's part of the TCPA Defense Force here at InnoVista Law. One of the questions we get asked, Joe, a lot is the concept of established business relationship. Can you confirm that in the TCPA, the actual law, it says somewhere in their established business relationship? That term does appear in the TCPA. Okay. And I think a lot of people maybe are misusing that term or looking at it differently. I explain why it's in the TCPA. Uh, it's in the TCPA related to calls to residential lines okay. under the DNC, the Do Not Call uh, rules under the TCPA. And it's there also in connection with the fax rules. But since we're here today to talk about SMS, yep. it doesn't really make a lot of sense to talk about the established business relationship rules because though the EBR rules established business relationship don't apply to SMS marketing. Okay. So, oh, mark marketing and sales messages, right? Or any any text any. messages. Because okay. if you're if you're communicating to a mobile phone, okay. you're in a different set of the of the TCPA rules. So we need to get back to the rules that apply to auto-dialed calls of any kind of any subject to wireless phones. Okay. Right? So there the this expression established business relationship doesn't really have any independent meaning. Okay. The important construct there about the type of relationship you have with your consumer is about consent and consent to get auto dialed calls. Yep. And the level of consent that you need depends on what you're going to be calling or texting them about. Like informational messages or marketing sales messages. Exactly. Okay. Because I think there's a lot of confusion people they see maybe established business relationship and they say, oh, well, I have an established business relationship because someone you know, gave me their business card and now I feel like because someone has told me, most likely misinformed them, mm -hmm. that they now can text message them because they have a business, what is it, established business relationship with them. Right. So that's 100% false. Absolutely. Well, okay. well, assuming we're talking about text messages. Text messages. Right. Yep. Okay. Right. So, Established business relationship still has relevance in other areas For calls of marketing. And faxes and exactly okay. Yeah, calls to land lines and faxes, uh, but if we're going to talk about text, text messaging, let's just put that yep. vocabulary out of our mind. Okay. Because we need to get into the the realm of consent. And that I think helps a lot of brands because I think there's the TCPA is pretty long, isn't it? There's a lot of content in there, right. and I think if they see established business relationship, they might relate it to other things and kind of bulk in and group things together right. and that definitely sounds like not a good thing to do. I would agree. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. Okay, so hopefully that answers the question uh, for uh, SMS marketers, not even does it apply, but established business relationship, is that even something text message marketers should be aware of or interested in? It doesn't seem like it if they're focused just on text messaging. Exactly. Uh, it's nice that you have an established business relationship, but we need to know what the terms of that relationship are. And that's essentially consent, you know, you have to receive consent and consent is, cannot be a condition of purchase. You know, those things are more important than this, this established business relationship. Exactly, because that's a much looser standard. Okay. Right, so under the, under the established business relationship, someone could have made an inquiry, right? They could have come to your store, left their phone number, yep. um, put it on a, on a list. That does not comply at all with the stricter standards to send them a marketing text message. Okay. Right. So at that point, you do have an established business relationship with them. Of a sort. Yeah, because you have a business relationship, but that does not make it available that you knew, you now can text message them. Exactly. I, I can't go to the pizza shop, give them my phone number, right, to yep. say, you can call me when the pizza's ready. They can't just start texting me yep. saying, here's a sale for pizzas on Tuesdays. Okay. I think right. that's going to help a lot of businesses out there avoid costly TCPA lawsuits because right. I think a lot of people have that confused for some reason. Right, and that is not a hypothetical. There is a very <laughs> real household name, you know, pizza company yep. that thought that because people called in and ordered pizza, they could start to send them promotional messages. They were messages. friends with their customers, they knew them, they were past customers, right. and that got them in trouble. That's just not the law. Okay. Again, my name is Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. I'm sitting with Joe Bowser from Innovista Law and the TCPA Defense Force. And we essentially answer the question, uh, does established business relationships really even matter in text message marketing? Thanks for watching our video today. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up on YouTube. If you want to see more of these types of videos, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.
And if you have comments or questions, please leave a uh, comment or question in the comment section below.